If you're trying to decide between the new Bear Star Hybrid and their more high-end Bear Elite Hybrid, it can be kind of hard to tell what are the real differences between the two of them. And that's exactly what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. Hey, how's it going? This is Owen, I'm Asina.com, and we have our direct head-to-head -head comparison between the newly redesigned Bear Star Hybrid and the Bear Elite Hybrid. Bear does sort of a good, better, best model with their Bear Original and Bear Pro Hybrid on the low end, the Bear Star Hybrid kind of being in the middle, then the Bear Elite being their most high-end mattress. And we're gonna talk about how these beds are similar, and there is quite a bit here, and then we're gonna dive into their key differences and figure out who might wanna get the Bear Elite Hybrid and who might wanna get the Bear Star. That sounds good and you find this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel. And as always, there's gonna be a lot of information linked in the description to help you with your online mattress search, including full written reviews, other comparisons, best lists, and most importantly, discounts. That'll help save you some money on these two beds from Bear and probably any other bed you might be interested in. Let's just dive right in by covering the policy info for these beds. And lucky for us, they're gonna be the exact same. This is stuff like shipping returns, trial periods, and warranties. Bear did send us both of these beds for free so we could test them out and tell you about them. But if you get one for yourself, you're gonna start with free bed in a box shipping. This is how probably 90 something percent of beds are delivered these days because it's so convenient. You just bring it inside, you open it up, you rip off all the plastic and you watch your new mattress inflate. Odds are, even if you go to a brick and mortar store to buy a mattress, it'll still be delivered in a box like this. The embossing process is pretty quick and easy to do. I would recommend having someone there to help you, especially with these two beds, because they are thicker, heavier hybrid beds. Once the bed arrives at your door, not when you start sleeping on it, it's when your trial period begins. This is kind of important. You could leave the bed sitting in the box for a week or two, and that will eat into your trial period. So I would try to get it unboxed as quickly as possible. So you get about four months to sleep on the bed in the comfort of your own home to really determine whether or not you like it and you wanna keep it. If you decide that you don't within the trial window, you can return it and get a full refund. But if you decide to keep the bed, both are backed by a lifetime warranty. So that's all the policy stuff. We'll have more information about it linked down below in the description. And having the trial window and free returns is one of the reasons people feel so comfortable buying a mattress online these days because it's pretty much risk-free. Let's dive right into the similarities between these two beds. And we're gonna start with the fact that they're both hybrid coil beds. One of the easiest way to differentiate between beds is all foam beds, which use foam as its main support layer, and hybrid beds like these that use coils. Now these aren't your old school inner springs. These are actually pocketed coils, which means they are individually wrapped and then lightly woven together to provide you with virtually the same level of support as inner springs, but they do a much better job at isolating motion. Having coils means these are gonna be better options for heavier folks, somewhere around 20 to 20 pounds or more. We pretty much always recommend going with a hybrid bed because they provide you with more long-term support and durability. Plus a coil mattress adds a bit more bounce to the bed, which some people like, some people don't. There are some people out there who really prefer the feel of a foam bed, and if that's you, you're probably not gonna be wanting to purchase either one of these beds. And then the other big thing these beds have in common is that they have pretty much the same feel overall. I'm not gonna say they feel the exact same, but the materials they use are very similar, and we'd put them in the more soft neutral category. This means that both the Bear Star Hybrid and the Bear Elite Hybrid are going to be generally comfortable for the vast majority of sleepers, in our opinion. They don't really have a distinctive feel one way or the other. They don't have that classic dense memory foam feel, even though the primary comfort layer of both beds is a thin layer of memory foam, and they don't have a super responsive latex foam feel or even a unique feel like a purple bed. They're just generally pretty accommodating. I can't imagine people will lay down on one of these beds and find it uncomfortable, but that might not be exactly what you're looking for if you want a more specialized feel in your next mattress. And then the last thing these beds have in common is something Bear calls sleep recovery technology. Now, Bear has recently undergone a bit of a redesign of all of their mattresses, and they're kind of de-emphasizing this feature in their mattresses, in our opinion. They used to really talk up the fact that their beds have salient woven into the cover, which is supposed to provide you with all kinds of health benefits like increasing circulation and speeding up recovery times and just helping you get better sleep, which is why they advertise themselves more toward athletes, because the salient was supposed to help them perform better. Again, they seem to be de-emphasizing this feature with their newly redesigned beds. Now we have had people on our team historically who have slept on bare mattresses and swear there's something to that cellulite cover. We can't really prove whether or not it works or not because we would need like a full-on laboratory for that. But I think it's something worth mentioning because really no other brand that we've tested features this material in their covers. So that's all the stuff that these beds have in common. They are pretty much the same when it comes to feel. There's some subtle differences, but I don't think it's really gonna move the needle for anybody. And they're both hybrids and they both feature that sleep recovery technology. Let's start getting into their key differences now and we're gonna start with their firmness levels. 
So on the Bear Star Hybrid, it just comes in one Firmus option, and with the Bear Elite Hybrid, you get three available when you're checking out. In our testing, we found the firmness level for the Bear Star Hybrid to be around a flat medium on our scale, which means it should be generally accommodating for most sleeper types, back, stomach, side, and combination. A medium works especially well for combo sleepers because you're probably gonna be spending a good chunk of the night on your side and then maybe rotate to your back. And they're also good for couples who maybe can't quite agree on an especially soft bed or an especially firm bed. With the Bear Elite Hybrid though, you have a soft model, a medium model, and a firm model. That soft model is gonna be closer to a medium soft, probably somewhere between a medium soft and a medium. So it's gonna be more geared towards side sleepers looking for more pressure relief. The medium model we found to be around the same as the Bear Star, so around a flat medium. Then the firm model is gonna be close to a medium firm, which is gonna be more geared toward back and stomach sleepers. So you have more options available with the Bear Lead Hybrid, which is always nice, but if you're just looking at the medium model of this mattress, it's not really gonna be any different than the Star Hybrid when it comes to firmness. There's also one subtle thing in the construction that the Bear Elite Hybrid has that the Bear Star Hybrid doesn't, which is a zone support coil system. Now what zone support means is that the bed is gonna be divided into separate sections with slightly varying levels of firmness that's supposed to help give you more support where you need it and more pressure relief where you need it. So for example, the center of the mattress, which is where you carry the majority of your body weight when you're sleeping, is gonna be slightly firmer than the outers, which should theoretically help your spine stay in a more neutral alignment while you sleep. Now there are mattresses on the market that have a way more sophisticated version of this zone support system, like the Casper Wave Hybrid and the Lisa Legend, but it is something that the Bear Elite has that the Star Hybrid doesn't. It's not something you should really feel on a nightly basis. Maybe when you first start sleeping on the bed, you will notice it because your body's adjusting to it. But after a while, it's just a nice feature to have that can help alleviate back pain for certain sleepers. And then the last big thing we need to talk about is pricing. With the whole good, better, best model, you would expect to save quite a bit of money by going with the Star Hybrid, and you will save some money, but it's not quite as much as I would expect based on what I've seen with other brands. Once you factor in discounts, which should be linked for you down below in the description, Bear is super consistent with their discounts year round. You should expect to pay just shy of 1400 bucks for a queen size Bear Elite Hybrid, and then around 1150 bucks for a queen size Bear Star Hybrid. So that's obviously a noticeable price gap. I would just expect it to be higher from what I've seen testing literally hundreds of beds. Now, Bear did just undergo a whole revamp of their lineup and prices are always subject to change. So these prices are as of when I'm recording this video. So make sure you look down below in the description for what's current for both beds. However, I don't really see a scenario where that price gap shrinks any significant margin. And you should always be saving a bit of money by going with the Star Hybrid over the Bear Elite Hybrid. And that leaves us with the question, who should think about getting the Bear Star Hybrid and who should think about getting the Bear Elite Hybrid? I think it's probably worth spending up for the Elite Hybrid if you're looking for a noticeably softer bed or a noticeably firmer bed. If you're looking at getting the medium firmness option of the Bear Elite Hybrid, I would probably just save the couple hundred dollars and go with the Star. Their feel is very similar and if you're not looking for the extra firmness options available on the Bear Elite, I don't think the zone support system is really gonna move the needle for you and be worth that extra couple hundred bucks. But maybe it is for you, let us know, write us down below in the comment section. I think if you're looking for a softer bed or a firmer bed, definitely spend up for the Elite. But if you're not, you're looking for a medium, probably go with the Star. If you found this video helpful or interesting, make sure you give a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel. And again, tons of stuff in the description. I know I've said a lot, but it's the truth to help you with your online mattress search. But that's gonna do it for me. This is Ona Seen at Home, and I'll see you in the next one.